Center, number 31, John Lambert. And at the guards, number 10, Gus Williams. And number 12, Biff Burrell. For Fordham University. At the forwards, number 24, John Troy. Number 40, Kevin Fallon. He tried to fire it up. Number 30, Daryl Brown. And at the guards, number 11, Kevin Brown. And number 12, Stan Frankowski. The officials, the referee, Tom Birch. The umpire, Austin MacArthur. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's all sing our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave officials Tom Birch and Austin MacArthur. This Fordham team is really fired up. I'm sure you observed that in the introductions. This program is authorized on the rights granted by Madison Square Garden Center Incorporated. Solely the entertainment of our audience. Any publication rebroadcast. Are these the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this event? Put in the imposition of a charge for viewing the program without the express consent of Madison Square Garden Center Incorporated is prohibited. Set the record on that one, Ken. <laughs> you were doing it good, Bob. Okay, Fordham is in a zone. It's usually a man for man team, but they're in a 2 3 zone with the two little guards up front. And the middleman deep is Darrell Brown near the hoop. Troha on one wing. And there's the two-pointer right over the zone. Chapman putting Southern California in front by a score of two to nothing. Well, this is a very impressive looking ball club for Southern Cal. Darrell Brown misses, rebound, pulled down by Trowbridge. This is Gus Williams, almost palmed the ball. He did. This is a physical looking ball club. These the big kids up there, not only tall, but they're very muscular. And these guards, uh, Burrell is a very well-built young man, too, and uh, the other kid looks like a speed merchant, Williams. Well, I'm looking forward to your opinions, Cal. From the side, the miss by Fallon. This is Biff Burrell, number 12, coming down. Burrell passing the Trowbridge. Burrell with the ball. Burrell bounced it, and is kicked out of bounds by Fordham. You know, at first looking at this club, it reminds me of a club I saw years ago, a Kansas club that was led by JoJo Williams. They had JoJo and four guys over 6'9". Jojo White from the Celtics. Now here's Burrell. 
And as it comes down, Trowbridge after it's pulled down by Darrell Brown. Brown gets it up now to Kevin Brown. This is Kevin Brown. He's picked up by Gus Williams. Over to Darrell Brown. He's being guarded by Chapman. Trowbridge is guarding a Fallon. Here's Kevin Brown feeding Troha. Troha shoots. Score the ball game is all tied at 2 2. One thing we know for sure, Bob, that Darrell Brown will not be pushing around on those, on those baskets. At least he's going to be in there fighting. He's giving away a lot of weight around that basket, though. Burrell down the middle, gets off the shot. Rebound. Pull down. Here's Frankowski. Frankowski fires. Hits. Basket is good and a whistle on the play. Fordham takes the lead. Here's a replay now. We'll watch this fast break being run by Fordham. The shot goes up and the contact is made right there as he releases the ball. Frankowski with a beautiful jumper. Burrell was on the foul. Frankowski missing. Chance for the three point play. Fordham leads by a score of four to two. Burrell with the ball. Williams on the left-hand side. This is Williams back to Burrell, working against the zone. Chapman, Burrell, Williams inside. He feeds, and it's Lambert putting it in. Score now is 4-4. They worked well against the zone that time. They had penetration as they converged. The feed went over to Lambert. Well, this could give Fordham trouble. Perhaps they play going into a zone press against them. That's just what they're doing right now. Troja shoots, and as it comes down off the rim, inside is Fallon, jump ball. Fallon will be jumping with Chapman. You know, I saw Darrell Brown coming out to help against that zone press. One thing that Darrell must do, he must come out and help, but he must be able to get back quickly around that uh, backboard. The lad from Mount Vernon, Gus Williams, over to Biff Burrell. Burrell, Williams in the corner, Trowbridge. They move that ball quickly. This is Williams, and a whistle on the play as Williams went over. Fallon. Commits the foul. How whistle, Doctor? How whistle? Well, one thing that's impressed me so far about this USC Bob uh, ball club, Bob, is the fact that they showed an awful lot of poise. They're not getting rattled out there. There's a big crowd here, yelling for Fordham, but they appear to be very well poised. That's the Trowbridge fellow. I was thinking you about Cal. Yeah. Oh. Shoot it. <laughs> nice looking shot that time. USC leads six to four. Here's Troja, he's in there. Fatou. Six, six. He got pretty free that time. Fordham staying in the zone. It's all tied at six, six. Burrell, so far they haven't elected to shoot over the zone from outside. They've tried to work it in. And this is Chapman. Whistle on the play. Yeah, Darrell Brown fouled him. Apparently, USC is trying to go to its strength. It's big men inside. They're very patient with the ball. The two guards they have appear to be very intelligent ball players. They're moving the ball around well. They're trying to get inside to those three big men they have, and they are big. So here's Chapman shooting two. 6'9", 218 pound senior. First one makes the score seven to six. The Trojans from Southern California leading. And it's now eight to six. Southern Cal leads. They're putting on a full court press, zone press. It's broken. They come down three on two as Fallon shoots. Hey, this Fallon can shoot it. Eight eight. It's all tied up. Up to this point, Fordham is surprising. Let's see what happens as play continues. They try to work it inside Lambert. And it comes out again. The guards not shooting over. They're working in the middle, and they collapsed around Chapman that time. Three men around him, knocked the ball away. And now, as they come down, Fordham has a chance to take the lead. Kevin Brown guarded by Williams in the corner. Fallon passing, whistle on the play. Chapman on the foul. Bob Chapman was inside with Darrell Brown. Darrell fighting for position, and Chapman was holding Darrell as he was trying to get around and get that pass. Each team has two team fouls. Still very early in the ball game. From outside, Kevin Brown, uh, Frankowski rather. And here's Kevin Brown picking up Burrell who goes by him. Burrell feeding, and this is Trowbridge with a bank shot. Rebound pulled on by Troja. Kevin Brown, Frankowski in the left side as they move down. All tied at 8-8. 
Troja. Fallon. They try to get it into Darrell Brown. He's tied up Frankowski down the middle. Now he feeds Darrell Brown. And Brown goes up as they come down the rebound. Pulled out by Lambert. Darrell was lucky he wasn't called for, not for a, loose, a foul that time. Bobby was crashing the offensive board. The miss by Chapman. Here comes Frankowski up front as Fallon on the right-hand side. On the left, they give it over to Darrell Brown. And as it comes off the rim, it's pulled down by Trowbridge. The pace is fast and furious. This is Burrell. Well, Bob, I tell you one thing I've noticed very early in this ball game: those three big guys on USC do not make the transition from defense to offense very well. They don't get back very quickly. Florida might be able to run those guys. Well, that's uh, a good observation, Cal. If they can get that ball and run, it's a good point to bear if in mind. They can break that initial point of that press and get the ball past that midcourt line. USC is going to be in a little trouble because those big guys are not getting back very quickly right now. Anyhow. Now in the ball game, Greg White has moved in the ball game for Chapman. Fallon tied up. It gets off an off-balance shot. The rebound fought for. Fallon went against Trowbridge, and Fallon is called on the foul. That's his second. Well, Bob, again, a key point that I was trying to make. Uh, those three big fellas on USC do not appear to be able to get back very quickly on defense. So if they continue with the zone press, those three men up front, and Fordham gets that ball past that mid-court line, they should have some good opportunities to score. Well, we'll watch for that. Now Williams passing inside of Lambert. They have a reluctance to shoot from over the zone. They like to penetrate. Darrell Brown comes out again. They're trying to move in closer and closer, but they're not taking their shots from 20 feet out. Working very close to the basket. Notice how they get closer and closer, but not from outside. Now White from the corner. Hey, that's a disciplined basketball club there, Bob. They worked that zone very, very effectively during that particular series. 10-8, USC is up by two, and here is Fallon. And it's all tied up at 10-10. 14 to go in the first half. Now Whistles wants everybody to put their hands up. He's on the bench imploring them, keep your hands up in the air. This is Williams inside. The score now is 12-10. Southern Cal leads Fordham. It's an interesting point, Bob. When they're full court press, they use their two guards as the point men up front. Uh, UCLA, the other club from that area. Kevin Brown. They use their two big men up front on the point of their uh, full court press. 12-12, Williams, Burrell. And this is Trowbridge. As it comes down, it's rebounded by Fallon. It's interesting to me, Cal, that their guards will not take that shot. It's not a, that difficult a shot. They prefer to keep working the corners or penetrate inside, but USC, Really, here's Darrell Brown blocked by Lambert. USC is not actually shooting over the zone. Well, apparently their game plan is to try to go inside to those big men because they do have a decided height advantage against Fordham, and they probably figure they're going to get better shots uh, to the big men inside. Look how close they penetrate before they put it up. And tap is missed. Darrell Brown rebounded, 12-12. But in this case, there is no doubt about it. This zone is helping fought them tremendously. I think they're going to make an adjustment, Bob. USC will probably start going a little bit to their guards for some outside shooting. Fallon, Fordham takes the lead, 14 to 12. Fordham leads 14 to 12. Hal Whistle keeps standing up and says, keep your arms up. He's really working in this game. He's standing there with his arms up <laughs> on the bench. They keep passing off. Trowbridge misses, and a whistle on the play. Uh, it looks like a rebounding foul here. Number 31 reaching over Dow Brown. Now 14 fouls for Southern Cal, three for the Rams, and Fordham is up by two points, 14 to 12. Frankowski feeds out. Here's Fallon. <laughs> 16 to 12. Kevin Fallon in the first game, which Fordham uh, won. 
beat Manhattan. He scored 10 in a row. Bobby does have a beautiful release on his shot. And this is the first outside shot by Biff Burrell. And here we see Hal Whistle saying, keep your arms up. And there will be more to come from Biff Burrell and Gus Williams, I'm sure of it, before this evening is over. So far, USC has done a pretty good job of containing Dow Brown offensively inside. Those three big guys have him kind of bottled up. In the game against, against Manhattan, Fallon scored 20 points in the second half. That's he scoring, or shooting. He scored two in the first half, 22 for the game. And here we see the miss. Going in that time was Trowbridge, and he did a head over heels turn, and he's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, Bob, he slipped. Dow Brown came in to intimidate just a little bit. Uh, Trowbridge saw Dow coming in. He tried to pull up, and in doing so, looks like he turned his ankle. You'll watch Trowbridge now coming down the left side. Now, you'll watch Dow Brown come into the picture, and as Dow comes in right here, he's going to pull up a little bit right here, and that's where he twists his ankle as he goes up. Now Kevin Collins has moved in the ball game, replacing Fallon for the Rams. And Evans has come in the ball game for Trowbridge, number 55 for USC. Fordham leading 16 to 14. That's your man now, the streak shooter, right, Bob? He comes in and makes things happen, Earl Evans. No basket. Uh, the foul was called, uh, you know, foul. Brown was fouled as he made his move to the hoop and he was fouled before he went up for his shot. Williams on the foul. Evans wears number 32 for Southern Cal. And Collins number 54 for the Rams. Collins gives them a little height too. That's he with the ball. A little fumbly that time. Score 16-14 Fordham. Collins stands 6-9. And the pass intercepted. Burrell getting up to Williams. Williams to White. This is White, number 40, putting it in. Greg White, a sophomore, 6-8. Score tied at 16-16 with the first half half over. Didn't have anybody smaller than 6-8 on that Southern Cal front line. It's a big ball club. Kevin Brown. Look how Fordham has spread out the offense now. They're in both corners. The two guards are way spread out, too. Well, they're trying to work something to get the ball to Daryl Brown, but they're having a lot of difficulty because Daryl Brown's being played very well by uh, the big fella in there, Lambert. This is a four-on-three break. Gus Williams from outside. Rebound, fought for, and Evans went up for the ball along with Frankowski. Knocked out of bounds by Evans. Now Troja. is in for Collins. No, a Fallon is in for Collins, rather. 16-16, all tied up. They, they're having difficulty, as you say, Cal, getting the ball to Darrell. But right now, Bob, they're trying to run some plays to get a screen or a pick for Darrell so that he can get the oh! ball. Fallon has 10 points on that one. You saw it was a, a corkscrew attempt underneath White. And the score is all tied at 18-18. White looks like the zone breaker for Southern Cal. Bobby Pierce have a very good shot, and they're trying to get the ball to him in the corners, and he's made uh, two in a row now. Big Husky, red-haired Greg White. Darrell Brown and it's Frankowski. Frankowski moves, tied up there by Williams. Cross-court pass to Fallon. Oh, what a play! <laughs> well, he's on fire. 12 points for Fallon. We said against Manhattan, he went 10 for 10 in the second half at one stretch. And is put in by Biff Burrell. Score now is 20-20. Fallon is a transfer from LIU. Set out last year, went to John Jay High School, comes from Brooklyn. Tom Birch calls a player control foul. You got Stan Frankowski uh, blocking out on somebody there. Now here's Nesta Corey in the ball game, number 25. Frankowski is out. 
Foul on a shot, six for nine. 2020 all tied up. Eight minutes to go, first half of the ball game. Burrell. And this is White from the corner. As it comes down, Darrell Brown rebounds. And the Rams with Kevin Brown in a front court. Fallon in the corner. Brown tied up, looks for Fallon. Inside now as Brown, lob pass to Brown. Brown comes up with the ball. He almost puts it in. Whistle on the play. Let's see how they call this one. The lob Brown, a lob pass to Darrell Brown almost turned into a basket for Fordham. Lambert now has three fouls. Number 31, Lambert, three fouls. And Southern Cal has used up all six of its team fouls. Oh, they're gonna change it now to Evans. They're changing it to Evans. Lambert went over to protest it. Apparently they got the wrong number. And the coach, Bob Boyd, also joined in. So it's on Evans. Now Darrell Brown at the line. And the first one, off course. He has a chance now to put Fordham in front. 2020 to score. The Rams take the lead. Southern Cal went into the ball game, an overwhelming favorite. Fordham, surprising. Lambert almost lost it, grabbed by Williams. He gets it out, Burrell goes down, feeds, and this is Evans as it comes down, grabbed by Brown. Here come the Rams. Six rebounds for Darrell Brown. Troja with the ball. Darrell Brown against Lambert, gets it up. Rebound, fought for, grabbed, Cora puts it in. Missed the Cora, the Rams lead 23 to 20. There's that good looking freshman ball player for the Fordham Rams, Nestor Cora. Evans. I, I continue to be surprised, Cal, that the guards will not take their shots. They're just going to keep working that ball in. Well, I guess they know where their meat and potatoes are, Bob. Right inside with those big men. And this kid here, White, is a shooter. And those are the guys they're trying to go to. That's the man. Yep. 23 22. And they keep working closer and closer. So Fordham has the whole middle jammed to a great extent which helps them. That gives but, them a lot of an area to play in, Bob. The zone is a little little tight. Darrell Brown, goaltending, was called. <laughs> Darrell Brown gets credit for two. Bob Boyd didn't like the call, as you saw. We watch the shot on the hoop here, and a USC player right here will come in and touch the ball on the rim, and that's an obvious goaltending call. Here's Williams banking it, and the score now is 25 Fordham, 24 Southern Cal, with six minutes and a few seconds to go in the half. So far, it's been a very even ball game. The score is very indicative of what's happening. Darrell Brown is good, and he was fouled. Hey, it's a great move by Darrell inside. Lambert has three fouls. And that's going to make a change in the lineup. Coming in the ball game is Steve Malovic. Bob Dell got a very good position at that time. He went to the hoop. The defensive man trailed him. Dell gave him a good fake. Got the ball up in the air. The defensive player went for the ball. Dell held it up. And then as he came down, Dell went up, laid the ball in, and got a foul also. USC is ranked number five in the nation. Darrell Brown with a three-point play. Should Fordham spring an upset tonight, they now lead 28-24. It will be one of the major upsets in the nation. Headlined across from coast to coast. Evans, and it was blocked there. Darrell Brown in there defensively blocking that pass, Bob. Kevin Brown brings it down. Can Fordham do it? You may be sitting in on one of the big sports events in basketball, college basketball this season. Well, Bob, we got a long way to go, and it's an awfully tough club. Cora! Cora, 30-24, Fordham. Bob Boyd says, let's call timeout. Listen to this crowd, they're wild. With 5-18 left in the first half, the score of the ballgame is Fordham, 30, USC, 24. The place is jumping, Madison Square Garden. Out in front now, we have the cheerleaders. 
and Trowbridge is going back in. Evans is out. Chapman is back in. And Palovic is out. So we're having two changes now for USC. Well, I don't know how much of a scouting report Pal Whistle has on USC, but the zone defense, of course, is a master stroke. And the way that USC is trying to cope with the zone, I think, is playing into Fordham's hands. Fordham is being patient. Fallon can shoot. They're going to White especially. I'd say at this point, Fordham, I like their chances. Now, Cal holds up the warning <laughs> finger. He's been doing that for a couple of years. Harry's smiling, too. Well, Bob, my point is that USC is playing a very disciplined ball game right now. Fordham is charged up. But USC is not going away from the things that they do very well. And I think eventually, in the long run, it might pay off for them. I think somewhere, Cal, though, they may have to change their, their offensive style. OK. We'll see. The guards, that is. Foul by Fallon. Now, Cal, this could be a turning point right here. Three fouls on Fallon. He's been the man keeping Fordham on this ball game with the outside shooting so far in his first half. And they will definitely need him. They need him. They need Fallon in the ball game. They need his shooting touch. Inside Chapman. Rebound, you know, they're not getting the second chance despite their height with that zone. I'm surprised, Bob, that the Fordham's doing a good job controlling their own defensive backboards. They're really boxing out. What USC is doing is rotating these three men around in kind of a circle. They keep moving them in and out. The guards try and penetrate as quick as far as they can and then try and get the ball to one of those big men for an open shot. Fallon just threw that one up. It wasn't a high percentage shot, to say the least. Inside, this is Chapman. And Brown goes up to rebound. Oh, he's playing a sensational oh, game. Yeah, that's really an inspired ball player this evening. Well, they came out jumping and roaring. They they took the court to say, look, nobody can stop us. Oh, a little too fast that time. Out of bounds, but goes over to the Rams. Out of bounds off White. Now Collins goes in and Fallon gets a breather. He has three fouls. Scores 30-24. Troja misses. Up front it goes to Williams. Up front is White, but Williams goes in, and the score now is 30-26, to Fordham leading. Under four minutes to go in the first half of play. Let's go Fordham in the background. Kevin Brown, a little too hard. Well, he made Clear. good penetration that time, but he didn't control the shot very well. Williams. Rebound, Troja. Fordham really doing a job on the boards. Fordham has spread their offense far out on either side. Two men in either corner. Brown in one corner, Collins in the other. And out it comes again. You got the four corner offense going for Don't them right they? now. Yep. This is Troja. I mean, I mean uh, uh, Cora, number 55, committed the foul. Now, USA is over the limit. So the bonus comes up for Collins. Here's Kevin Carlissimo in for John Troa. The sports writer Phil Pepe pointed out Fordham leads the nation in Kevins. They have five <laughs> Kevins on the right. team. <laughs> he was in the lane too soon. White was number 40. 31 26, Fordham leading. 32-26. Williams, Burrell. This is White. Williams. 
Correll. They're working for those shots, taking a lot of time. And White gets it off. He yeah. hasn't been hitting. He's That's the man the they're going they to. Want, That's the shot they want. They're getting it. Oh, Carlissimo was way up there by himself. They didn't see him. The pace that USC is working for these shots, I think, is in Fordham's favor <laughs> right now. Here's Kevin Brown. Left-handed, he tried at that time. Chapman cleared, the Trowbridge cleared, Burrell with the ball. And the foul by Brown. Good call, Bob. Brown came in behind Williams there, reaching for the ball, got his arm and knocked the ball out of bounds. Safford goes in, Marv Safford, a sophomore, number 22. And Burrell goes out. So Safford now putting the ball in play. Williams, 32-28. Kevin Brown, they really have that four corner offense. Here's Cora, oh, in and out, pulled down by Williams. Williams maneuvers out of the traffic, now gets off the bank shot, whistle under the boards, White. Some pretty slick ball handling by Williams on that break. In the ball game now, we have a change. Malovic comes back in, number 42. Chapman is out. At the line, Collins is one and one. Fordham is up by four points with a minute 28 to go in the first half. This is Carlissimo, and Collins missed the rebound attempt. Williams, Safford, and it's White. Uh, White is having an off night. He got away with the traveling violation that time, too. Here's White. He started off strong, then tapered off, but he Makes it now Fordham 32, USC 30. I think he made his first two. First three, as a matter of fact, Cal. Cora from outside. Here's Williams, it's two on one as they come down. Williams and Safford. Williams goes up. White rebounds, couldn't hold on to it. Taken away by Collins. Fordham comes down, leading by two with 40 seconds to go in the half. Carlissimo, Collins, and now let's see what Cora does. Comes down in the hands of Malefic, here's Williams. 24 seconds to go in the first half. Safford, Williams, Williams from outside. I think that's gonna be the key for USC, Cal, outside. 10th tie in the ball game, 10 seconds to go before the half ends, 32-32. We're down to four seconds. And Darrell Brown puts it in. He was fouled also just before the buzzer. And Fordham will lead as they go off to the dressing room. But first, Brown will shoot the foul. Malovic fouled him. He pushed him just as Brown was going in on that fine bounce pass to score. So Brown there. Darrell Brown, and there's the end of the first half with the score. Fordham, 35, USC, 32. Chapman is on Darrell Brown, who is inside. Lambert is on Troja, that was Lambert who knocked the ball away into the hands of Williams. Up front to Burrell, and Burrell misses. Comes down, here come the Rams. Kevin Brown to Darrell Brown for two! And a foul on the play. Bob, again, you'll notice that uh, USC's big men are having trouble getting back defensively, and Darrell Brown outraces everybody down the floor. 
right here, and he gets a good pass here and goes up to the shot, and there's the contact. That foul by Lambert was his fourth. Darrell Brown with another three-point play. Here's Greg White in. Lambert goes out. Just left up with the three-point play at the end of the first half. That's right. He ended the first half with a three-point play and started the second half with a three-point play. He's got three three-point plays in the ball game. Fordham is up by six points. That pass knocked out of bounds. And That's Southern Cal has not changed. They're just working in close on the periphery, trying to work inside. And the show bridge is wide open on that particular play, but the pass was deflected, I think, by Darrell Brown. Missed by Burrell. They're not getting second chances against this zone either. Fordham really playing a smart game against Southern Cal. Fallon! We got a very good screen inside that time by Darrell Brown. 40-32. This is White. Score is 40 to 34. Fallon. Oh, almost too hard to Troja. Well, Gerald Brown is having trouble trying to get position inside against Chapman, and he's just talking to the officials saying, give me a little help in here, ref. Now the pass a little too hard. Off foul and out of bounds. Fordham up by six points. How whistle shouting instructions. Bob Boyd chatted something, too, to one of the officials. They keep flashing through that middle, don't they? Yep. Here's Chapman from the side. Big men keep flashing through and then disappear in the corners, and then they flash in the other direction. 40-36. They're kind of running a, a circle kind of a pattern, and they're three minutes changing inside, hitting, coming across. And I've seen them overload one side, too, with two men on one side. That Missed by Frankowski, Darrell Brown! But Darrell is getting it, boy. <laughs> He's doing it. He's got 14 points, and Fordham is up by six points again. Ten rebounds for Darrell Brown. Williams, score 42-38. Darrell Brown got hit in the face. Around the mouth. Says he's all right. Well, he'll be okay. I saw him come back in a ball game here a couple of years ago against uh, Notre Dame. And come back in the game with nine seconds to go in the game with a dislocated knee and make the winning basket in the game. That's <laughs> so doing that, it. That won't keep him out, I'm sure. Core is in now for Frankowski. Early in the second half, Fordham 42, Southern Cal 38. Darrell Brown puts it in! 44-38. He's made his last six shots. And Trowbridge misses. White keeps it in play for the Trojans. Williams feeds right in the hand of Fordham. Pass up to Cora. Cora stays with it. And here is Fallon. Williams. Rebound Fordham. Here they come three on one. Kevin Brown feeds Cora. Fordham leads by 10. With 16-13 left in the second half to score. Fordham 48, USC 38. goes in for USC and Evans goes in for USC. Let's go for him. Let's go for him. 
USC has not changed its style, not changed its offensive attack, and Fordham is doing it. Everything so far is working at the Fordham way. Their zone defense is paying off. Southern Cal is not penetrating as they like. When they get the shots from outside, they're not hitting as they like. And Fordham, opportunist, putting in the basket. All right, Robert. I think USC's big men are having a very difficult problem making that transition from offense to defense. They're not getting back very quickly, and each time Fordham gets the ball, they're rushing it up the court. And watch this kid, Nestor Cora, because he is really fast. 49-38 the score. This is Evans to Malovic, and Malovic was fouled. Kevin Brown. Come into the foul. Malovic stands 6'10. Malovic is a 6'10 freshman. Malovic at the line. 6'10 freshman. Shoots two. Forty-nine to thirty-nine. I know that USC has also abandoned its full court press they were using early in the ball game, that zone press. It wasn't very effective for them. 49 to 40. Kevin Brown. Over it goes to Fallon. Fallon fakes, Fallon shoots, and it's tapped in, Dale Brown! Fordham leads 51 to 40. Fordham is on fire at this moment. The Southern Cow trying to douse it. They're still working, trying to get the ball, and Brown has it. I don't think Southern Cow is going to work it in any better than they have up to this point, Cow. <laughs> Cow's been laughing at me all night, but I think that. Well, it looks like you're right, Bob. They're having trouble trying to get the ball inside to their big men. That zone defense being played by Fordham has been very, very effective. And they're playing it slowly, meticulously, and they're not working well against it. 51-40. Travel call. Because Harry points out there are 50 minutes to go. Well, the game I'm is not over yet. Up, Cal. Uh, you got to control me. You're a little steamed up right now. I like the way they're playing, though. They are playing good basketball. There's no doubt about that. This is Evans piercing it. Oh, look at that block. Daryl Brown pulled the beauty. We were talking about MVPs earlier. There's a real big candidate for an MVP and award. And how? Biff Burrell. Rebound. Oh, it goes over to Williams. Williams feeds. And it's put in by Malovic. I'll tell you, those guards keep looking for the guys. 51-42. Troja. Inside, gets out of the traffic. Now into Darrell Brown. Darrell Brown turns, and it's good! 20 points for Darrell Brown. 53-42, Fordham leads USC. He's hit eight in a row. Goes over to Fordham. Now, aren't you glad you looked in the night in the cable? 53-42. Here's Kevin Brown against Burrell. Proha. Fallon. 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 Hit. Oh. Fallon does it. 18 for Fallon, it's 55-42. Boy, this is a fired up club. Fired up fans. Be a hot time in the old town tonight if Fordham upsets one of the nationally ranked teams in the nation. This is Malovic, rebound. Malovic keeps the ball. Malovic goes up again. And this time it's pulled out by Troja. 
55-42, the Rams lead. Brown, rebound, White, intercepted by Cora. Cora, goal tending, That's goal, goal tending. tending. Safford goes in, 57-42. They're gonna run Southern Cal off the floor in a minute. <laughs> Do you know the score is 57 to 42? Is that possible? It is. There's Lambert going in, four fouls and all. He's gonna go back in the ball game. Here's White, they want timeout. Listen to this crowd, they are going eight. With 12.49, left in the second half to score of the ball game. Fordham 57, USC 42. Well, we'll all take a breather and watch the ladies in action. Brown with 20 points, 12 rebounds, three block shots. Fordham has outscored Southern Cal 22-10 so far in this half. They lead 57 to 42. Time left to go, 12-35. Chapman, Chapman again. And it is grabbed by Lambert. He loses the ball. And guess who blocked Chapman's shot? Darrell Brown. Did it again. And now USC is going back into its zone press. Darrell Brown helps now. They have 10 seconds to get it over. And it's intercepted by Evans. That was a risky lob pass. Evans puts it in. I'm sure they don't want Darrell Brown having that ball now against his zone press. 57-44. Out of bounds. Oh, kept them play by Cora. Now Brown comes out. 12 minutes left in the ball game. Troja. Troja. Right now, Fordham wants to get that ball inside the dial. Brown, Chapman's defending against him. They got a one-two punch there, because that kid Fallon is a real good outside shooter, so if they drop off to help out on Darrell Brown, they can't afford to give Fallon that shot. Here's Fallon, again, he does it again. 59-44, oh, what a shooter he is. Fallon has 20 points, and is put in from the side by Evans. Scores 59-46. Kevin Brown almost loses it against Safford. Over to Troja. Fallon against Evans. Fallon again. Oh. He's got 11 for 16, Fallon. He is on fire. 61-46. Lambert. And the score now is 61 to 48. Now, Ford's made an adjustment, Bob. They don't have Darrell Brown back there against this press anymore. They're waving Darrell up the floor and letting the guards bring the ball up the floor, which is a very smart move. They keep feeding Fallon. Why not? Wouldn't you? Evans is having his problems trying to contain him. Fallon just throws at that time. It is set the knock out of bounds by Cora. That Trowbridge moves in the ball game along with Casey Jones. Timeout. With 10.32 left in the second half, the score of the ball game is Fordham 61, USC 48.
Casey Jones, number 25, moving in the ball game. Crowbridge. If I'm not mistaken, I think the other Casey Jones is wearing number 25, too. I think you're right. Miss Casey Jones is 6'3 and a sophomore. He's a guard. Other for all the marbles. Well, National ranking at stake. This could be some victory for the Fordham Rams. They can pull it out. Casey Jones, Safford, Trowbridge, Jones, taking a lot of time to work that ball around. The seconds keep ticking away, and USC is trailing. Here is Safford, and the score now is 61 to 50. Full court press. Now Safford picking up Brown. See how Brown does. Pretty good. Oh, he has to get rid of it now. To Cora. Oh, Cora just barely holding it. Cora comes back to Cora. Oh, Cora did it. 63-50. USC takes a lot of time with that ball, and every second that ticks away helps the Rams cause. Back and forth on the outside, they feed Safford again. This time it's grabbed by Brown. And we're under the 10 minute to go mark. Kevin Brown, undefeated Southern California, six and two for the Rams. Fallon. Cora free on the other side, they can't get the pass to him though. Now Brown, and the seconds are ticking away. Three subs are going in, in a moment for Southern Cal. Now Fordham can use up that clock. Every second helps Fordham. Kevin Brown. Back it goes out. Fordham is spread out with their offense. They've got him on all corners. Brown penetrates, feeds. Roja goes up. He's got it. Roja, 65-50. Fordham playing a brilliant game. Bob Boyd wants timeout for Southern Cal. And they call it. The crowd applauds. Fordham leads by 15. And with 8.46. Left in the second half, the score is Fordham 65, USC 50. Here's the scoring so far in the ball game for USC. Williams has 12, Burrell 4, Lambert 4, Chapman 6. Trowbridge, two, White, 12, Evans, four, Safford, two, and Malovic has four points. For the Fordham Rams, Fallon has 22 to lead all scorers. Brown, 20, Troja, six, Frankowski, two, Brown, two, and the young freshman, Nesta Cora, has 11. And Collins has two points. Now both teams have made changes. Carlissimo has gone in for Fallon. And uh, for the uh, USC team, Burrell is back in the ball game. Williams, Williams shoots. There's a shove onto the boards by Trowbridge, number 55. Hey, he hasn't taken too many shots, has he, Bob? Trowbridge, that's a Dave DeBusha shooter. He missed a few early, and White's missed quite a bundle, too. Their shots from the corner were not going in. Kevin Brown was fouled. Williams stuck out of hand. Dick Young, sports columnist for the New York Daily News. Very fine writer. There's on hand, witnessing what is a most exciting ball game. Cora. <laughs> 
Fordham leads by 17 points. White whittles it down to 15. 67-52. I think one of the key things right now, Bob, is the way that the Fordham Rams guards, particularly, uh, well, right there, he lost the ball, but that young fellow there was controlling this press. Williams scores 67-54. Time 7.50. Kevin Brown's done a fine job bringing that ball up the floor against Southern Cal's press. Cora, he's played excellent ball, too. In fact, all the Rams have, and Hal Whistle, I think, has got them up strategically at just the right pitch. Cora feeding to Troja. Troja underneath goes up. Rebound, Darrell Brown, he has it! Darrell Brown at 69-54. Now Williams from outside. And that is a ball which appeared to be going over the backboard, but a whistle on the play, a foul call. Darrell Brown is doing it all. White on the foul. Frankowski is in for Cora. Carlissimo goes out, fine play. Kevin Fallon is back in. So Fallon back in after a breather, 69-54. Frankowski up to Brown. Oh, do you see the way they beat that press? And here is the shot, put in by Brown. 71-54. Are you becoming believers? Lambert. I'm a believer, Bob. <laughs> Foul the play. My only consolation is that if I were a coach and I had three monsters inside like that, I would be sure to get that ball inside to them, no matter what. Lambert at the line. 71-56. There's still 6.55 to go, so it's far from over. Rebound, White goes back to Lambert. Lambert goes up and blocked by Brown. Who's going to get it? Whoa. Goes over to Fordham. Did you see Bell Brown go up to block that shot? Five block shots by Brown. Long pass up to Fallon. Fallon, rebound, pull down, knocked out of Chapman's hand, uh, out of uh, Trowbridge's hands, and Trowbridge started to go toward Frankowski. A mismatch there. Kevin Brown called on the foul. Three team fouls for Fordham, five for Southern Cal. 71-56 the score. Now Cora. Back in, Frankowski is out. Bob Boyding, a few words with the official. Oh, Burrell banged in there. No foul call, Williams, Fordham in that zone. Oh, how it's done the job from White from outside. Rebound Brown, they can't get in to get that second shot against the zone. Darrell Brown is controlling the backboard. He and Fallon have played some basketball games for Fordham. 15 rebounds for Darrell Brown. Kevin Brown feeds, and here's Troja. Thought better of it. The seconds are ticking away. We're approaching the six minutes to go mark. Almost missed by Cora. Out it comes. Intercepted. Kevin Brown goes up, feeds Darrell. Too hard on the layup. Now we're under the six minute mark. Ball intercepted by Troja. Before that miss in the layup by Darrell Brown, he had made nine straight shots. Cora! Whistle on the play, offensive foul. Well, Southern Cal, they appear to be losing their poise now. The clock begins to run down against them. They're turning the ball over much too much. Morrell goes out, Dar uh, Evans is back in. Number 32. And now, out of the ball game goes Crowbridge. He's had an off night. Lambert in the ball game. This is White. Evans 
And as it comes down, it's grabbed by Darrell Brown again. Kevin Brown picked up by Safford, who has come back in the game. This fellow's a fine dribbler, isn't he? Look at yeah. them go. Knocked out of his well, hands. Fine, fine ball handler. 5.15 to play at 71.56. Just sorry this game is not on national TV, <laughs> it Cal. It should be. It's like to spread game. the word around the nation. New York City basketball. Fallon, seconds tick away, cross court pass to Troja. Comes down, Fallon is there to gather it in. Aren't you glad you looked in on this one? Boy, are we glad we're here to do it with you. Whistle, Safford on the foul, stuck out his leg. Austin MacArthur makes the call. Seventy-one fifty-six. Cora putting a little display. Kevin Brown. Time under five minutes. Kevin Brown goes in. Whistle. Foul by Safford. Can you imagine what this will do in the national picture as Bob Boyd paces back and forth? Southern Cal, number five in the country being overwhelmed at this point by Fordham, unranked, unthought of, uncared for when the season began. Um, and what? Fordham, uncared for. <laughs> Nobody thought that Fordham, you know, Fordham, they're gonna fire the coach. What are they gonna, you know, this is a bad team. Nobody can, uh, this is the, the Cinderella team of basketball now, Cal. Okay, Robert, if you say so. <laughs> what do you say I'm going overboard, Cal? Well, it's deserved, Bob. They've played a fantastic basketball game. They've been the ranked, nationally ranked bas a club, a club that definitely is a, a better physical ball club than Fordham, but I think it's a great game, coached by Hal Whistle, and uh, your kids have really performed out there for Fordham. Now, I actually cut out the stories at the beginning of the year after the first few games that Fordham just didn't have it, that the coach didn't have it, that, that they weren't to be considered, and now they're pulling the upset of the nation. The foul by White. No basket. 73-56. 4.28 to go in the ball game. At the line, one and one is Darrell Brown. He's got 22 points. Daryl Brown is putting on some show. Along with Nesta Cora, who's only a freshman. You know. Well, you know, Bob, the story of this ball game probably has been the fact that USC has done what I thought they should do and what you thought they shouldn't do. I felt that they should go inside to their big men because they've been effective for them, but they have not been able to score inside. And you pointed out that perhaps they should begin shooting more from the outside, which perhaps they should have because they definitely were not able to score on the inside. And that's can be attributed, I think, to some fine defensive play by the Fordham Rams that played an inspired basketball game and some tremendous coaching by Hal Whistle. Uh, I just felt that it was going to take the way they were playing, Cal, with such deliberation to work inside, taking so long, it had to be a low-scoring game, but I just felt that the way to get penetration, it's almost standard. It's you hit from out there, you'll get it. The other big problem, Bob, is the fact that uh, they normally control their offensive backboard, I'm sure, because of their size. But against the Sporting Ball Club, the big fellow, Darrell Brown, was controlling the board, which meant that they were able to kick that ball out very quickly. And uh, the big men did not make the transition from defense back to offense, so Fordham was therefore able to run USC. Cal, this is one factor we don't know. I haven't seen that much of USC. Here is Darrell, 75-56. Maybe their outside shooters aren't that good. Maybe they, 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 they fear they're shooting outside, that they can't bring them out. There's Williams, 
75-58, we're down now to four minutes. Under four minutes now. Williams trying to stop Cora, Williams topples over. This kid moves something like Dean Meminger. You notice that, Nestor Cora? He does. And Kevin Brown! Oh, he's been a tremendous work course. 77-58. When this score flashes across the country, they'll say, check it again, please. White. Where do UCLA sees the score? 77-60. <laughs> White tried to knock it away. Now Williams does knock it away. Safford feeds White, and it goes in at 77-62. Full court press. I like the poise of Mr. Cora. He waves everybody away and says, give me the ball. I'll take it over to midcourt line for you. Whoa, pass out to Darrell Brown. Coaching the three minute to go mark. Fallon with the ball. Under three minutes to go. And fans, you're sitting in on it. All the fun, all the excitement. The unbelievable, the unexpected. Watch it, watch it. They got him from behind. Down they come. This is Evans feeding back. Take it away by Paul up to Brown. He's in there by himself. Kevin Brown puts it up and in. 79-62 with two and a half minutes to go. Fordham's biggest moment of the season, one of their biggest moments of all time. USC calls timeout. Unbelievable moment. How whistle. Bob Boyd, dejection on one hand, consoling his team, consoling them at one end, elation at the other. The elation, the despondency, the ecstasy of the Fordham crowd. This is a tremendous night in the history of Fordham University, one to be savored and remembered for a long, long time. USC came to New York. They wanted to show they were the top team in the country and play in the holiday festival. They came in undefeated, and they're playing against a Fordham team, a ranked underdog, which is pulling not only a victory, but they're pulling a victory by a tremendous margin. A never in doubt victory, 79-62, with 2.24 to go. Well, I guess we gotta give Hal Whistle a new contract now. <laughs> oh, he is a fine coach. Tell me a hot time of the old town tonight. New York City regaining its stature as the basketball capital of the world. Here's Safford, and as it comes down, rebound Fallon. Now we approach the two minute to go mark. Here's Cora in the front court. Frankowski back in the ball game. Kevin Brown went out, he played a fine game. Frankowski almost lost it, and it's knocked out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by a newcomer to the lineup, number 33, Mark Palmer who has come in the ball game for USC. Now we're under the two minute to go mark. Frank Kosky gets out of the traffic. Now reverses, now feeds, gets it back. A minute 50 seconds to play. Frank Kosky to Brown. Knocked out of Brown's hands, but they got him. They know it's a jump ball. Fallon. Time 135. Ball out of bounds. Touched by USC. Darrell Brown, a minute 35 to play. Casey Jones gambles. Can't get it. Went out to a minute 30 oh, this game. Kid, this kid's got a lot of points for a freshman, boy. Five second violation. Kevin Moriarty goes in to taste the fun. Goes out of the ball game. Whoa! He deserves the applause he's getting. Goes up, pointing his finger up in the air. We're number one. And who's to dispute it tonight? Kevin Fallon. 
great, great game by Kevin Fallon. They have got it, the biggest moment in all probability in the lives of these Fordham players. 22 points for Fallon, 11 for 18. Fordham, one of the proudest knights in the history of the school. Williams in the ball game, number 33, missed the shot. Yeah, but I happened to be present one day when I, Coach Hal Whistler was scouting this kid, Nestor Cora, and he was really, really very high on him. He was hoping he could get him to come to Fordham. That was the day of that All-Star game, and it's a good thing for Hal that he was able to pick that kid up if he's played some ball game. And there's Seth Hicks, the assistant coach who played at Staten Hall around my time. And all due credit for him. A minute and 10 seconds to go. Malovic to Safford. Safford gets it up in the air. The score now is 79 to 64. Now we approach the minute to go mark. Frankowski to Williams. Williams with the ball. That's it knocked out of his hands, loses the ball. Picked up by Lambert. We're under a minute to go now. This is Malovic shooting for USC. It's 79 to 66. And now we have 47 seconds left on the clock. Watch this. In the ball game goes Guy Whitlock. Watch this. Out of the ball game, Darrell Brown is standing ovation. Darrell Brown comes out. Prime contender for MVP honors. Frankowski, 24 points for Darrell Brown. 20, 24. Brown with 24 points. No basket. <laughs> Whitlock on the foul, Malovic at the line. Unofficially 16 rebounds for Brown. Five block shots unofficially. Cora, Cora again. Malovic goes up, the ball goes out of bounds. Out of bounds off Fordham, 17 seconds to go. You can start your countdown anytime you want now. Lambert underneath, fouled by Frankowski. 11 seconds to go. Fordham has done it. They have pulled the upset of the year. You've seen it on the cable. Limited TV coverage this evening, but you've seen the big one. Al Whistle's biggest moment as a coach. The Fordham Rams' biggest nights as players, and the fans have sat in on what is the basketball college story of the year. Rob, right now, Phil Sellers is over congratulating the Fordham Ball Club. Intercepted by Lambert, seven seconds to go, taken back by Frankowski. In the countdown, in it goes, Cora! Cora scored at the buzzer. The impossible dream has come true for the Fordham Rams. They're cutting down the webbing. Oh, that will hang in the trophy case. That moment, there's the end of the game with the final score, Fordham 83, USA 66. Well, it was a great ball game by Fordham did what they had to do. USC was not able to contend with Fordham zone. I thought Dow Brown was just sensational. Dallin played a great ball game. Nestor Cora, Frankowski, Kevin Brown, a total team effort by Fordham. And I got to tell you that a lot of that credit has to go to Hal Whistler because he's done a great job. And all of the Fordham players getting a little piece of that webbing to put in their own trophy cage. Al Whistle with congratulations. Hey, we had him oh, what there, a baby. great victory yeah. for the Fordham Rams. And what a, a heartbreaking Don't defeat for USC. They go home with their first loss. Whistle, whistle, whistle.
There's the scene. The Fordham Rams getting a piece of the webbing, piece of the net to keep as a souvenir of their biggest night in sports. Disconsolate Bob Boyd is pacing at the other side. Now, let's go to John Condon, who's introducing Scotty Whitelaw. We'll hear the introduction of the awards. Let's listen to John Condon. We'll present the awards to the winners and the runners up. There's a very disconsolate Bob Boyd. Fine, the fine coach. Up, the University First of loss of the year is reckoned as now eight and one. Still a top ranked team, still with a chance for the national title. Please go to your bench. Will the Florida players please go to your bench? Gus Williams. Dick Burrell. Marv Safford. Casey Jones. John Lambert. Adams. Clint Chapman. Greg White. Steve Malovic. Bob Trebridge. Mark Palmer. Manager Rex Tompkins. Trainer Paul Williams. Assistant coach Jim Hefner. And the head coach of the Trojans, Bob Boyd. John Chaha. Nesta Clara. Dara Brown. Paul Williams. Guy Woodlock. Kevin Fallon. Kevin Collins. John O'Neill. Trainer Jimmy Wilson. Manager Jack Potter. Assistant coach Seth Hicks. Assistant coach PJ Colasimo. And the head 
coach of the Rams, Hal Rissa. Look at this, look at this. His proudest moment. There's one more. Kevin Brown had 24 points, Fallon had 22, uh, Darrell Brown 24 points, and Fallon 22. Now the MVP. Annual holiday festival, it will be presented by the commissioner of the ECAC, Scotty Whitelaw. He received 21 out of 24 votes. Darryl! He had 24 points, and he had 14 rebounds, 10 out of his last 11, and his name is Darrell Brown. Yeah!